that cricket is at, at the forefront of the boys' programme. Uh, we have a strong tradition at the school. We put out 10 teams um, every Saturday um, from under 14 ABC, uh, 15 ABC, through to first team at senior level, second team, third team and fourth team. Um, and we have a lot of boys involved in cricket all year round, so our programme um, continues right the way through the season. We have 50 boys involved in uh, one to one program and um, we've just started a girls program too and we're looking to roll out uh, the same level of program to the girls so there's a real buzz around the place uh, about the cricket and we have um, varying levels of um, skill but each one of those children has the provision in place to to reach their potential we're very lucky that we have uh, rob who's the director of cricket and he's Play professional for Kent and Notts and uh, obviously the wealth of experience he brings with uh, his playing career and obviously into coaching he's, you know, he's got a huge amount of experience coaching um, uh, and that obviously transcends down to the to the boys and the girls that are playing here right away from year nine all the way up to the first team so uh, we're very lucky to, to have him on board and uh, likewise with Andy who's uh, been an ex-international himself uh, for Zimbabwe and obviously the head coach there as well um, it just it doubles up as an amazing sort of duo that the, the kids have access to from a coaching point of view. Yeah, I mean, college field's an iconic you know, place to play cricket. Anyone who's walking by, members of the public, the people who are just visiting and playing, it's, uh, it's an extraordinary place to, to play cricket and a backdrop uh, that we're very, very lucky to have. Um, and combine that with obviously our indoor our facilities that we've got now, it's, um, it's an incredible, incredible uh, set of facilities that the, the boys have uh, and the girls have access to. One of the things we sort of pride ourselves on is, is trying to create a fun programme and inevitably in cricket it's quite a great, it's quite a good sport in terms of having some fun toys. So the Merling bowling machine that we have, we've got other bowling machines, uh, we use the pitch vision system um, which allows us to track the ball and see how people have been bowling in a net scenario. Um, we film and live stream all of our games so boys can uh, be in a house and support their teammates. Um, parents can log in and see some of the highlights that we have from the games and it's all about just trying to get people enjoying the game and, and creating a lifelong passion for the sport. Yeah that's, I think that's the main thing for, I hope for any school is just for school boys to enjoy their cricket. Uh, everyone here definitely enjoys how uh, the, the games, we have games throughout the week, on Saturday, every game is enjoyable. Obviously winning is nice but our main objective obviously is to enjoy. Uh, I've worked with Mr. Walla and Mr. Foley, but mainly Mr. Walla. Um, and I've worked very hard with my cricket and playing spin especially, and basically mental side of things, how to place my innings and just, yeah. Uh, we have a varied programme. Um, we find the lower teams now generally do play 20 overs. Uh, that seems to fit well and people enjoy that. Um, at the senior level, first team level, we play 50 over games on a Saturday, win, um, lose cricket, which the boys uh, really enjoy. They like to have an outcome. Um, we still have a couple of declaration fixtures. Our fixture against the MCC is usually that way. And I think um, it's important to perhaps develop some of those more subtle skills that declaration cricket promotes um, and obviously we are involved in the national t20 and, and the county uh, t20 tournament which allows the lads to get into their red kit uh, and go out and play with a pink ball and have some fun uh, and try to emulate their stars of the ipl or you know the big bash Um, obviously being in Sussex we have a good relationship with them we've had um, players go on to play first-class cricket for them um, Harry Finch is a current player scored 100 the other day Matt Hobden um, was also at the college Ed Giddens who played for England a few years back came um, through as well so it naturally lends itself to that but um, through probably my connections at Kent uh, and Andy's connections with Zimbabwe um, we do have a, a, a broader um, ties and you know for those that perhaps don't get on at Sussex there's always opportunities elsewhere if they're willing to get stuck in and work hard. Um, we tend to tour every two years. Uh, last tour was to Dubai and Nepal and we love that as an experience. We try to tie in a good quality cricket with some sort of culture experience and the contrast of Dubai 
you know, everything new, everything pristine, high buildings, everything really smart compared to Nepal um, where we, we got to have a look around at the various cultural elements was, was really good for the lads. Um, we were in fact the first school to, to go out to tour to Nepal um, after the, um, the tragedy was there. So uh, it was nice to be able to go and um, play some cricket out there. And we actually found it pretty tough going in Nepal. They were very uh, competitive and the wickets spun and, uh, and we came unstuck on a couple of occasions. So it was a good balance.